Hello everyone, this is Math Hands On with Python. Welcome back and today we are going to learn on how we can perform the critical path methods using Python. So I'm going to share a piece of codes which have been designed for the CPM. Okay, so we have two files, the task file and the main file. So don't worry about this a piece of codes because at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to share with you a clickable link which will send you uh, to a source code where you can download this piece of codes. So uh, let me go in Nashville to uh, share with you the informations which uh, basically uh, have been used to design this kind of codes. So in the task file we have uh, several codes but these codes in the task files have been uh, designed to solve uh, the early time, late time, uh, the floats, and the uh, other useful computation involved in the critical path method. So basically there are uh, comments uh, step by step showing what is basically going to be uh, done in each piece of codes. Okay, so the gray uh, words or words with hashtag, basically these are comments which describe what piece of codes is designed for. So these are the codes uh, in the task file and uh, we have the other file which is the main file and uh, we have the comments in green and uh, this also show what uh, it means for each piece of codes. Okay, so we are going to solve uh, one problem uh, for the critical path methods uh, also, we will determine the early start time, early finish, late time, and uh, also will determine the uh, critical path and the total project duration. So let me uh, tell you uh, the main important thing, because this task file basically you have a lot of informations, but the key uh, informations in these files is the computation of all details informations involved in CPM. As you can see here, we have the uh, early finish time, early start time, uh, late start time, late finish time, slacks, and the critical activities. So uh, what is important uh, is this main file, okay? Because the task file will be imported in this main file and the, uh, these codes will be executed into the main file. So the main files consist of piece of codes for executing the main files. As you can see here, we import the uh, task file into this main file. So from task file, we import all the functions and the computation that uh, we need to execute into this file. And uh, then we load our data. So the data we can uh, write our data in Excel and save them as an Excel sheet or open document uh, spreadsheet. Uh, these two formats can be used uh, in loading your data. Okay, so for this tutorial, I use the open uh, document spreadsheet and uh, this have been uh, loaded and by importing this library, uh, which is uh, Panda ODS reader. So we import the pandas underscore ODS underscore reader as reader ODS. So if you wish to import the data in Excel format, use the normal panda library as PD and the, you just uh, and comment these uh, codes for importing uh, the data in Excel sheet. So make sure you change uh, this uh, name of the files depending on how you have saved your data. So for mine, I have uh, saved my data as activity data. So, and uh, this have an extension of uh, Open Document uh, Spreadsheet ODS. And uh, here we have a sheet name, which is sheet one. So you can, I have the data here. So you can see these are the data for my projects. And uh, we have the description codes for the description predecessors days. And the name of the sheet is the uh, sheet one. So let's go back. So after this codes for uh, loading the data, we have other codes like uh, the codes for computing the critical path, uh, which is this one. Basically, we imported this from the uh, task file. And uh, also we have the codes for uh, printing out 
the results after computing from the task file okay and they also uh, these two parts of codes I updated on myself because the uh, source code didn't uh, uh, identify the critical path so I added these codes for identifying the critical path after computing it and the last one is to give me the total project duration so you can use this source code to update your files uh, when you uh, download the source code from the link which I will share with you at the end of this tutorial. So and after this now, we are in the position now to perform or to solve uh, for the problem that we have. So uh, let's go back to our data. So this is the data file. So for the matter of the codes which we have, make sure the header of your description should look like the way we have here. So the description should uh, look like this one. You have uh, to label this is the header for the description column. This is the header for the description and he use this header as code and the, the predecessors and the, the days uh, header. So uh, after having these headers in inside here, okay, we have the codes and the, the predecessors. The important thing here the predecessors once the activity have no predecessors do not write anything to that cell so uh, the other predecessors you can write but if the activities have two or three predecessors uh, or more uh, make sure you just uh, concatenate the names of the predecessors do not separate them with comma as you can see from the original problem at your right hand side of the screen so after having this uh, coding of the problem into the excel sheet then you save these files in the same folder you have saved your python files for instance these files for me i saved these files into uh, the file at the desktop which is called the cpm so if you open this folder you can see inside here uh, I have the activity data, the name of my uh, data file, and uh, we have these two files, the main file and the task file. So this is the uh, directory where I saved my file. So now let's go back to uh, Python, and uh, we are going to run, as I said earlier, the program or the problem using the codes in the main file because the task files have been are loaded or imported into the main file now if you run this one you are going to see the outputs here so this is the result but uh, we don't have the clear uh, visual for all the uh, information which we need here because of the space so what we do i'm going to run these files in the anaconda command prompt so uh, let's uh, open the anaconda command prompt so let's search that anaconda and uh, then from here, we are going to create a directory. My directory basically is the, at the desktop. So let's go to our directory. This is the directory where I saved my files, all of them, the data file and the files for my codes, the main file and the task file. So click here, copy the directory and come to the Anaconda prompt. So paste there and uh, press enter we have created the directory now from this directory uh, we solve our problem python then the name of the file which we want to execute which is main with the extension of uh, pi so main.py and then click enter so we have the solution for the problem so you have the uh, description of your activities the codes other uh, information but important information here are the early start time of which activities the early finish time the late start time and the late finish time of each activity also we have the slacks and the last column is the column labeled as critical and this give us the status whether uh, the activity is a critical activity or not and the, at the bottom we have the critical path okay you can see this is the critical path and the, the total project duration so uh, to get this code, as I said, uh, click the link uh, here at the left corner. As uh, you can see, it displays there. Click, uh, it will 
uh, take you to the site where you can copy or download the uh, source code which have been used for computing this problem. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share uh, this tutorial. Until next time, goodbye.